The drought continues. It has become the worst in living memory. Desperate animals gathers around the pool. These baboons, who are seldom peaceable, reach new levels of aggression among themselves. Even mothers with small babies do not escape the brutal bullying. still dominate the pits, but a female in Yala, driven by thirst, is ready to fight for a drink. Each day now, a few baboons appear with blood on their hands. Their victims are impala fawns. Some are orphans of the drought, others only temporarily lost and alone. Trusting and totally defenseless, they are easy prey for a strong male baboon. fate of her offspring, the mother ranges up and down the pool, calling. A hungry warthog roots around for choice pieces of rotting catfish, while a kudu, heedless of the crocs, drinks the mud. his kill to himself for long. Yet the contest seems to be as much about male dominance as ownership of the carcass. <laughs> Meanwhile, the warthog sees a good opportunity. She's a little slow and no match for an agile baboon. As their pool dies around them, the hippos and crocs lie marooned in the mud like creatures made of clay, half formed and waiting for their creator to complete them.
A baboon risks all on a thin crust of mud as she searches for puddles on the surface. While all around her lie more than a hundred crocodiles, indistinguishable from the mud. Death struggle is between these two. If baboons have nightmares, this is surely one of them. <laughs> ah! Torn between terror and wanting to help, the mother is unable to rally any support. She has escaped with muddy legs, a sore face, and possibly a haunting memory. Right now she needs some hands-on grooming, but there is none to be had. Just a curious stare. When everything seems to have reached the end of endurance, the sky fills with clouds and relief seems at hand. The spell of the drought is broken. The crocs return to life and begin immediately to devour the ripe remains of some old feast that was locked in the mud. Was just a fleeting reminder of better times. It does not break the drought. The withering heat returns and draws all remaining moisture from the pool. The last hippo has moved on and will probably die in a hopeless search for water. Only one old crocodile is left. He was the largest, the dominant croc. He shows no signs of leaving. He remains in his empty pool like a stranded nightmare. The other crocs have taken shelter from the scorching sun and the vegetation around the pool. lie motionless in the shade, surviving on their last reserves. The old male croc only pushes deeper into the mud. 